So, child's play and myself are the same age. When I was very young, I used to spend the summer with my aunt and uncle and they owned a shop that rented out VHS tapes. The cover of Hellraiser is something that I vividly remember <laughs> trying to avoid whilst browsing through the turntable. Good old fashioned turntable full of VHS tapes. I'm just trying to set the scene here. Um, and then I would have to leave the shop and walk past the stairs in which, for some strange reason, was a ventriloquist doll sat on the stairs. It was the creepiest ventriloquist doll that I've ever seen. That, well, uh, to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen another ventriloquist doll. Like, who owns ventriloquist dolls? But my aunt and uncle did, and it would sit on the stairs. And also from there, I think I started my weird obsession with dolls. I was fascinated yet so freaked out by them at the same time and I owned a collection of porcelain dolls and when I was young I couldn't sleep sometimes because their eyes would just be on me and it yeah it was it was terrifying so the reason why I tell you all this is because all those reasons there is why I didn't watch child's play until I was an adult so the history of mine from shop, VHS tape, turntable, Hellraiser cover, freaked me out, ventriloquist doll, owning porcelain dolls myself, freaking out by it. I decided not to watch Child's Play until I was quite, say in my early 20s. Just imagine being a parent and thinking that your child definitely needs that creepy doll. It's like, I know what my child needs, that creepy doll right over there, yeah. <laughs> it is enough to give anyone nightmares, like even before, it's Chucky, you know, the scary version. That doll is creepy enough as it is. <laughs> but I suppose that is one of the themes in Child's Play is it's the challenges of being a single parent and the decisions that they must go through, basically alongside the theme of consumerism and especially within children's toys. And that's all wrapped up in a horror film I suppose you could say that there are similar themes in Jingle All The Way, but this is just the extreme death version. Now the premise is hilarious, you know, a dying serial killer voodoos his soul into a pop popular child's doll and then goes on this murderous rampage as this little doll. It is an elevator pitch that would raise a few eyebrows. <laughs> it shouldn't work but somehow it's executed in a way that keeps you thoroughly entertained. To sum it up, it's basically a B-movie done well. And for a film of the 80s in the horror genre, I think this is well acted. So even though we know that this doll is possessed, it takes us on a journey from the character's perspective. It really gives us a thrill by letting us in on the secret and letting us shout at the characters. We're shouting at the TV, get out the house! because there is a psycho doll in the room. No, it's it's letting us in just that little bit to make us care about these characters. And I think it's very successful in the way that it is shot. We do have to wait for what Chucky is truly capable of as he doesn't actually speak until halfway through the movie. But I think it has a very Spielberg aspect in letting us in on the secret, but making us see things from the character's point of view not as successful as the likes of Jaws for building up your villain, but it does have a good atmospheric effect. The mix of using doll animatronics and real actors just works perfectly in this film. Creating Chucky with all these elements is just great. You know, it gives it what I said, it's like a B-movie done well because they have really thought about how they're gonna represent Chucky. Um, Brad Dorif is probably recognised for his voice more than his face due to this iconic role in his career, but what a voice, it's perfect, it's just has that menacing sound but also it, it doesn't take it too far, it's like it just sounds like an, an average bloke, you know, but at the same time you're like, that is really freaky, I would not want to meet this man. So I know I've said it over and over again in this review, but I think it's just the best way to sum up Child's Play. It is a B-movie done well. 
So thanks for watching. What are your thoughts and feelings on child's play? Pop them in the comment box below. Please do like the video and don't forget to subscribe. If you liked what you see, hit the notification bell as well and you'll always get my latest videos.